So my name is Patrick Todd. I'm a philosopher at the University of Edinburgh working primarily on the topics of free will and moral responsibility. So my latest project has to do with the topic of moral responsibility and uh, a lot to do with the age-old debate concerning whether moral responsibility is compatible or incompatible with determinism. And in a nutshell, determinism is the view that given what's happening now, what happens next is always guaranteed. And some philosophers have thought that, look, if determinism were true, no one could really deserve blame or praise for what he or she does. I mean, look, what you're doing is always guaranteed or determined in advance by factors beyond your control. Um, but su perhaps surprisingly, most philosophers right now disagree. They think that, look, there is really no conflict between moral responsibility and determinism. Um, but recently, I think this debate has taken an interesting turn. So some philosophers have put forward these thought experiments in which uh, a given person's behavior is determined or guaranteed in advance by certain powerful controllers or manipulators or designers working behind the scenes. And they've asked, well, look, what's the difference between that scenario and determinism? Um, now, that's, that, that method of argumentation remains controversial, still is controversial. But what interests me about this is the following, that in fact, in the history of Western theism, uh, you get a long tradition of thought in which all of our behavior is determined in exactly this way, namely determined in, determined in advance by God. Um, and so part of what I want to look at is whether thinking about the topic of moral responsibility from this perspective might tell us something about what's really required in order to be responsible. After all, you might think that, look, uh, if God is determining everything we do, then God couldn't really regard us as blameworthy or praiseworthy for what we do. Uh, but if not, that may be because uh, we wouldn't really be responsible. Um, and that, I think, might tell us something about the nature of responsibility. It might tell us that responsibility is, after all, incompatible with this kind of determination. So uh, I think my project would be of interest to philosophers of religion working on the topic of divine providence and human freedom and the topic of the moral standing to blame. Uh, but really, I think the project uh, could and hopefully will be of interest to philosophers working on the nature of moral responsibility itself.